life of a hobbit. Doesn't get much better than this, I reckon. No one ever knocks on my door because I just installed a new doorbell. It's really quite good, actually. There you go. Well, you know what they say. How do you know my name? Uh, yes. Santa! No, I'm not Santa. Oh, right, sorry, my bad. Uh, Father Christmas, how are you? No! I'm a wizard! Dumbledore, my man! You have crossed the line, my friend! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't... You shall not pass! I wasn't trying to pass anything. Looks like you didn't pass your anger management test. <laughs> sorry. It's about habits. A hobbit, like myself. No, oh, not hobbit, hobbit, Hobbs, like the Montreal Canadiens. Huh. So, what brings you here? I'm here to take you on an unexpected journey to the desolation of Smaug. It's gonna be a big one because we have to go there and back again. Sounds like a, a billion dollar franchise. Oh, oh, that's because it is. All right, then I'll do it. Wait, anything I might need. Ha <laughs> you silly little hobbit. I've got everything we need. Don't you fret. I'll bring my courage. Good. You'll need it. Santa! Or Dumble, whatever. Get her alive, you're coming with me. To the Hunger Games, let's catch some fire. Sounds like another billion dollar franchise. It's getting there. So this is the Hobbit Games. No, it's the Hunger Games. Why would anyone be hungry? There's a slice of pita bread over there. Hey, hey Katniss. Hey, I love you Katniss. <laughs> Marker. What's up, Mega Movie people? Mega Movie Man Mark here. What an episode we got for you guys today. Two of the biggest movies of the year. I'm feeling generous. All right, and they both start with T H E space bar H. The Hunger Games Catching Fire, and The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Let's start with The Hobbit. You guys know I loved the first movie, one of the best movies of last year. And do I care if the dinner table scene was as long as a real dinner? <laughs> no, because I felt like I was eating dinner with them, even though there was nothing going in my mouth. That IMAX, I just ate it all up. See, another pun about eating. And this movie being the middle movie in the trilogy suffers from middleitis. <laughs> Because you got the first movie, which introduces you to the universe, gets you in the mood. The last one wraps it all up, puts a nice bow on top, and sends it off away into the ocean. The second and middle movie is just boring. Since this is three hours, you got all the action scenes which are drawn out, which is good. When Smog was on screen, and when the spiders were on screen, and when the barrels were on screen, spiders and barrels and dragons, oh my, I loved it. But then all the dialogue scenes are drawn out too, and I'm just sitting there thinking, why does this need to be so long? Can you stop talking and spitting words out of your mouth? I want fire spitting out of your mouth. I want this to be exciting. And I get that eventually. You know what I want? I want someone to put together all three Hobbit films into one movie. Ha! <laughs> there you go. There's the idea. I'm sure someone thought of it before, but... That's what I want. Do that right now, please. Well, you can't do that right now because the third movie's not out yet and the second movie didn't even come out onto Blu-ray, so it's going to be pretty crappy quality. Do that when it's time. The Hobbit, no subtitle required because it's one movie. 2015, the best year for movies. Perfect. But I feel bad because the Smaug is the coolest thing I've seen all year. Benedict Cumberbatch, Narrate My Life by Morgan Freeman. See you later. 3.25 to 3, 3 and a half. <sighs> That's the best I can do. Next, The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Just when you thought The Hunger Games were over and Peta and Katniss were never going to go in that thing again, you have been mistaken. They are going back because the 75th annual Hunger Games has rolling along. Compared to the first one, this movie is bigger, it's better, it's funnier, it's epicer. It's got dollar signs written all over it. It's like comparing a bulldog to a hamster. One is just ready to rip everything to shreds, and the other guy is cute. But it doesn't really know where it's going because it's running in a ball all day. I enjoyed every second of this movie. There's not much more I could say. 5 out of 5 for The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Hope you guys enjoyed! And remember, subscribing to Mega Movie Man Mark, even if our opinions don't mesh, is still pretty mega cool because it's the, it's the love of movies that we share.
Parker. <laughs>